I can see you now. Hi there, how are you? Wow, that's nice to know. Happy New Year, Cherry. It's nice to see you again. Are you ready for our lesson? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, welcome again to Five One Ta. I want you to look at me and listen to me. Let's go to the next page. Okay, what? Can you see in the picture? Um, I can see the solar um, system. Very good. It's the solar system. We have the sun and the different planets. Okay, let's read again. Our solar system. Our solar system. Very good. Thank you very much, Terry. Sorry, I thought it's Cindy. All right, let's go to the next page. Okay, tonight you are going to learn about nature, our solar system. And we are going to study the vocabularies, telescope, journey, explore, and expensive. And we are going to learn about the phrasal verb go over okay let's okay. go to the next page let's do a warm-up exercise first okay we have a question okay. here which i would like you to answer can you find the earth and the sun in the picture please circle yeah. your answer this is the biggest is the sun and this is the earth Okay, thank you very much, Cherry. You are correct. The Earth is the third planet in the solar system. And this yellow thing right here is the sun. Okay, let's go to the next page. I'm going to give you a sneakers chocolate for doing a good job. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Let's prepare. Are you ready? Yes. yes. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Okay, the first vocabulary we are going to learn is the word telescope. Please repeat. Okay, telescope. Very good. So what is a telescope? Do you know what is a telescope? Yes, I know. We can okay. use it to see to see the planet or something. Yes. Far away. We can see far things by using a telescope. That is great. Now look at the picture. Let's read the sentence about it. Um, we can use a telescope to see the deathless um, on the moon's surface. Okay, let's repeat that again. We can use a telescope to see the details on the moon's surface. One more time. Okay, we can use a telescope to see the details on the moon's surface. Very good. Okay, look at the moon's surface. Okay, we can see its details because of the telescope. Now, which one do you use to observe the stars? Please take your answer. Yes, the second picture. Very good. It's the second picture. And what is it called again? What is what is it called again? What is it? It's, it's a, a it's a telescope. Telescope. Awesome. Let's go to the next page. That's well done, Cherry. Okay. The second word we're gonna learn is the word journey. Please repeat. Um journey. 
Very good. Okay, look at this picture. It has different places in China. Yes. Now let's read about it. My journey to China was wonderful. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. My journey to China was wonderful. I guess China is very beautiful, right? I want to go there someday. <laughs> okay, which one do you think can save more time on the journey to another country? I think this plant is more it is faster. Very good. Okay, you need to ride an airplane if you want to get to your destination faster. So, an airplane saves you more time on your journey if you want to visit another country. Awesome job. That's a nice work, Cherry. Let's go to the next page. Okay, the third word is explore. Please read. Okay, explore. Very good. Now look at the picture. What is happening in the picture? Please read. He likes to explore the nearby woods when he has time. Okay, thank you, Cherry. Now let's try to read that again. He likes to explore the nearby woods when he has time. One more time. Okay, he likes to explore the nearby woods when he has time. Very good. So what does explore means? Based on your sentence, what is it? Um, it's a uh, it's the sea. I think this. Okay, which one can people use to explore the sea? Very good. That is correct. That is a submarine which you can use to explore the sea. Now, what does explore means? Explore means some something okay if you wish to go to some place okay you go there and visit it and try to see what's in it so that's exploration so you explore things you see or you visit something or a place all right so that is explore like in this picture it says here that this guy here likes to explore the nearby woods. When you say nearby, it's the it's something that is near his place. So maybe the guy here lives near the woods. So it's called the nearby woods. Okay, thank you so much. A magic star for you. Fantastic work, Cherry. Let's go to the next page. The fourth word is expensive. Please repeat. Okay, expensive. Okay, what is expensive? It's... It means uh, uh, such as something we, uh, we must cost, uh, we must spend a lot of money. Very good. You are correct. Expensive is something that makes you spend more money because it costs a lot. So something that costs a lot or is very pricey is expensive. Can you give me an example of something expensive? Mm, expensive, I think this. Yes, that is more expensive because a car costs more than the value of a bicycle. Yes. Okay, how about you? Can you give another example of something that is expensive? Um, such as, uh, let me see, mm. something the house. Okay, yes. The, Buying a house is quite expensive. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, let's read about the picture. Okay, 
It's very expensive to buy an air air apartment. apartment? Okay. okay, let's repeat. Very good. It's very expensive to buy an apartment in Beijing. Okay, because Beijing is a large city and it's very modern. So most of the houses there, even the apartments, okay, are very expensive. Okay, okay let's try to read it one more time. It's very expensive. Mm. Please read. Okay, it's very expensive to buy an um, apartment in Beijing. Very good, very good, okay. hooray, great job, okay, great practice. Let's go to the next page, okay. The next lesson we're going to study is about the phrasal verb go over. So go over means to examine something very carefully. Okay, like for example, on my part as a teacher, before I conduct my lesson, I try to go over the slides of the lesson so I will know how to teach the student. So that is the meaning of go over, examine something very carefully. Now let's read about go over, one example of the sentence, please okay. read. Before we decide on which car to buy, let's go over the choices again. Very good. So of course, if you want to buy a new car, you need to go over the choices that you have in mind, okay? You need to consider, of course, if it's not too expensive, but very nice car, okay? Something that's very useful and that will fit your lifestyle. Now look at the picture, okay? There are words okay. here, okay? Let's try to use these words in a sentence using go over phrasal verb, okay? Can you try? Mm, okay, first, uh, um... We should, uh, um, when we go shopping, we should uh, go over to stink the shopping list. Please. Okay, or you can say, when we go shopping, we must go over the shopping list. Okay, that is a better um, sentence to make. All right, but your idea is very good okay it's on point all right thank you very much cherry how about number two picture number two picture is uh, mm, before we make a decision a decision we should go over to make the plans very good or you can just say when we make a decision we can we have to go over the plans okay that's a more simple sentence but the thought is already there very good cherry but you are also correct with your idea a magic star for you and a Yay emoji! Keep it up! Let's go to the next Thank page. You. You're welcome. Okay, let's read. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. All right. Let us read the paragraph. Okay. Spence is massive, and we know very little about it. In fact, it was only around uh, 50 years ago that we traveled into Spence for the first time. So let's take some time to go over what we know about Spence. Okay, let's try to read the word space. Okay, Spence. 
Very good. One more time. Is space. Is space. Massive. Massive. Very good. Okay. Again, what is go over? Please read. Go over is the main means to examine something very carefully. Okay. It means to examine something very carefully. Okay. Like in this example, before we decide on which car to buy, let's go over the choices again. Okay. When was the first time that people traveled into space? When was the first time that people traveled into space? Um, people, it's uh, 15 years ago. Yes, it was 50 years ago. Or you can just read this sentence. It was only around 50 years ago that we traveled into space for the first yeah. time. Okay, let's try to read that. It was only around... Mm. Sorry, what? It was only around. Let's read. It was only around until first time. Let's read it. Okay. Let's read that part. Okay. It was only around 15 years ago that we traveled into space for the first time. Okay, let's repeat. It's space. Sorry, space. It's okay. Okay, let's try to repeat that word three times, Sherry. Is space, okay. is space, is space. Is space, is space, is space. Great job. Keep it up. Let's go to the next page. I will give you okay. a super yummy ice cream. Awesome. Okay, okay you're welcome. Next, let's read. Our part of space is called our solar system. It uh, in includes the sun and the eight planets: um, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, um, Jupiter, Saturn, um, sorry, Arthur, and Neptune. There Uranus. are also many. Okay, Uranus. And Neptune. There are also many moons around the planet. Okay, thank you for that. What is this again, Cherry? This is the the solar system. Very good. It's the solar system. Okay. Our part of space is called our solar system. Now again, let's try to read the eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Let's repeat. Okay. Mercury. Earth. Mercury. Okay. Mercury. Venus. Venus. Earth. Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, and the Uranus. Okay, Uranus and the and Neptune. Okay, again, let's try to read again. Okay, listen to teacher carefully. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. And Neptune. Please repeat. Okay. Mary, new, uh, Venus, Mercury. Earth. One more time. Sorry. Mercury. Mer Mercury. Mercury. Very good. Venus. 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 Okay. V. It's Venus. pronounced as V I S. Okay. Okay, Venus, 
Earth, Mars, Jupiter, uh, the center, um, Uranus, Uranus, and, uh, Uranus, and uh, Neptune. Sure. Neptune. Okay, let's try to read that again after the lesson. Keep on practicing. I know you can do it. Okay, now Thank let's you. answer the question. You're welcome. What is our part of space called and how many planets are there? Mm, it's called, it's called the solar system. And the very eight, good. Eight planets. There are eight planets in the solar system. Very good. Very good. Yay! Good job, Cherry. Let's run to the next page. Okay. Let's read. Okay. Spence has been um, Studied for a long time, for thousands of years, people have looked uh, toward the stars to find their um, dear dear question. Um, and about uh, 500 years ago, the telescope was invented, which let people see even farther into space. Thank you for reading that. Let's repeat the word is space. Is space. Is space. Very good. Direction. Direction. Telescope. Telescope. Very good. What did people invent to help them see farther into space? Um, the telescope. Very good. It's the telescope. Have you ever used a telescope before, Cherry? Have you tried mm. looking at a telescope? Yes, but uh, that mm. telescope uh, just can see somewhere a little farther. <laughs> Okay, you were able to use a telescope, but not a big one that can see through the outer yes. space. Okay, me too. I haven't tried the big telescope that they use in space stations like that. Okay, let's go to the next page. That was a great work, Cherry. Okay, what can you see in the picture? What's this? I can see an uh, earth. The earth. You can see the earth and what's this? And this is a uh, uh, stance. Uh, sorry, how to say that? Okay, it's a rocket ship. Oh, okay. Rocket. Okay, it's a rocket ship. It's used by the astronauts, okay, to go to the outer okay. space. All right, let's read. Okay, the first time that space was explored by people was in 1961. Horizon space craft went into space, um, traveled <coughs> around the Earth once, and then um, tur turned and then turned. The wild journey only that lasted less than two hours, but it uh, allowed us to go over all the ideas that we had about space. Okay, very good. Let's repeat again. Is space. Is space. Explored. Explored. Russian spacecraft. Russian spacecraft. Very good. Traveled. Traveled. Journey. Journey. Hole. Hole. Returned. Returned. Very good. 
How long was the first space journey? How long was it? Mm, only two hours. Okay, it only lasted less than two hours. So it did not even reach two hours, but lesser than two hours. Okay, thank you so much. That was well done. Okay, great effort, Cherry. Let's go to the next page. Okay, what can you see in the picture? What's this? Uh, I can it's, see um, it's a expensive uh, pure, pure It's an astronaut. Okay. It's a, a, Okay, astronaut. Okay, it's an astronaut. It is someone that explores the space and works in NASA. All right. And this is his rocket ship. Okay. Now let's read. Okay. Later in 1969, the moon was visited by visited by people. It was the first time that humans had walked on the moon. Other places haven't been visited by people yet, but we have sent our aspens here fit and the robot to explore, uh, explore. Explore? Very good. Okay. Okay, let's try to read again. A spacecraft. Okay, it's spacecraft. Very good. So another word for a rocket ship is a, a spacecraft. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Which place has been visited by humans? Which place again? Mm, the moon. The moon. So do you know the person who was the first person to set foot on the moon do you know the name of that person his name oh, is yeah, okay um, who is he i just i just can't, can't say it in chinese okay it's neil armstrong it's neil yeah. armstrong he's the first man to set foot on the moon okay let's go to the next page very good Okay, let's try to read the text. The future looks bright for Spain's exploration. Many people would like to travel into Spain, so we could see some kind of really expensive expense bus in the future. Some people even joke joke about that one day we will see a supermarket on the moon okay a supermarket on the moon that's just crazy can you imagine going to a supermarket that's in the moon <laughs> okay that's just a dream that one day we would want to accomplish, okay, as humans, okay? We want to build a supermarket on the moon, wow! <laughs> okay, let's try to read about, let's try to read some words, okay, in the text that you've read. Please repeat, bright. Okay, okay bright. Is space exploration. Is space exploration very good? Is space bus? Is space bus okay? One more time. Is space bus? Is space bus okay? Again, let's repeat. Is space? Is space? Is space? Is space? Is space is things. Very good. Now it says here that the future looks bright for space exploration. So they are looking forward. Okay, the astronauts or those that are, that are studying space 
is looking at a bright future wherein they can explore the space more, okay? And maybe travel more into space and even build a supermarket on the moon. That's just crazy. I can't imagine myself going to the moon and do my groceries, <laughs> okay? What is the future of space exploration again? What is the future of a space exploration? Uh, okay. the, the future of space exploration is uh, uh, many people can uh, travel into experience and can and it maybe maybe has experience bus and a supermarket on the moon. Okay. Yes, they're looking forward to it. So that's there. That's something that they have in mind that that's going to happen in the future. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sherry. Good job. Let's go Thank to the you. next page. Let's practice. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Let's match the pictures with the words and make sentences. Okay. Can you match the pictures with the words? Okay. Um, okay, first it's expensive. Okay, where is expensive? Very good. Um, the car is very expensive. Very good. Next. And the next is a tails corp. Telescope. Okay, telescope. Um, Very good. The scientist, the scientist use the telescope to um, see the planet on the sky. Okay, that's a good sentence. Okay, next. Next is. Uh, um, the journey. Journey. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's this. Explore. Explore, okay. Um, people, sometimes people can explore the sea. Very good, okay. Next. Next is journey. Journey. Okay, journey. Very good. Um, I I have a journey to the Shanghai last uh, last month. Okay, you went on a journey to Shanghai last month. All right, Cherry, very good. Thank you for your great effort. I will give you a recess chocolate. Good job. Let's go to the next page. You're welcome. Okay, now let's read the passage and then let's try to complete the sentences in the conversation okay let's read first okay this is things is massive and we know very little about it in fact it was only around 15 years ago that we traveled into things for the first time so let's take some time to go over what we know about these things Thank you very much. Yes, it's a space and it's massive. Massive means it's very big. Okay, it will take a lot of time for us humans to explore it. Okay, let's repeat the word traveled. Traveled. Okay, awesome. I will be teacher. And you will be the guy here, the student. Are you ready? Okay, Okay, what do you know about space? Is it small? Uh, no, the space is massive. It's very big. And we know very little yes, about know it. About very good. When did we travel into space for the first time, Cherry? When was it? 
um, travel into space for first time is only around 15 years ago. That? Uh, that we traveled into space for the first time. Very good. Okay, let's repeat again. It's space. Okay, it's space. Very good. Thank you so much. That is a job well okay. done. Let's go to the next page. You're welcome. Okay, let's read, read the passage again and let's continue with our conversation. Okay. Um, our par part of the space is a uh, called our solar system. It exists the sun and the eight planets. Oh no. <laughs> Mercury. Thank you. Mercury. Venus. Venus. Earth. Mars. Jupiter. Ju Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter. Saturn. Saturn. Uranus, 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 and, and Neptune. 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 Okay, it's like tune. When you sing a tune or you sing a song, a hymn, it's tune, right? So it's Neptune. Okay, let's repeat. Solar system. Okay, solar system is space. Is pain. Very good. What are the planets in our solar system, Cherry? Uh, what are the planets? planets. Okay, our and solar what are solar they? Solar Mercury. Solar. <laughs> okay. Again, Mercury. one more time. Yeah. It's okay. Take it slow. Okay, very good. V, uh, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Mars. Okay, Mars. Mars. Jupiter. Ju Jupiter. Mars, Jupiter. Saturn. 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 Saturn Uranus. Saturn, Uranus and Uranus and uh, Nap Nap Neptune. Nap uh, okay, Neptune. Nap Very good. Keep on practicing. What are around the planets? Uh, many moons. Okay, there are also the many planet. moons around the planets. Very good. Okay, great job. Let's go to the next page. Okay, let's talk. What do you know about space? Let's use the words in the hints box to answer the question. Space, uh, space is a massive and uh, uh, there are a solar system in the expanse. It has the sun and the eight planets in the solar system, and the many moons around the planets. Very good. So, what do you know about space? Our space is called the solar system. Okay, and in the solar yeah. system, there are sun and eight planets and the planets have many moons around them very good that was a very clever answer cherry let's go to the next page okay this will be your homework okay this will be your homework the writing project okay now let's go to the next page what did you learn tonight um. The topic is our solar system. And um, the words, words that are, you've learned? The words, the words are telescope. Tele telescope. 
talents club. Join it and explore its bounces. Okay, Tell thank you very club. much again, telescope. Telescope. Journey. Journey. Very good. Okay. Again, what's the phrasal verb that you've learned? It's? It's go over. Okay. Example? Um, so let's take some time to go over what we know about its pins. Its pace. Its pain. Very good. Keep practicing, Cherry. I know you can do it. Okay. What's more important is that you understand the word. So you have no problem with that. That means you're very good in your vocabulary. You just need a little more practice in pronouncing some of the difficult words. Okay, it's just normal to make a mistake with their pronunciation since you don't encounter these words as often as, okay, when you read or, or talk with your classmates, you hardly encounter these words. So it's just normal for you not to be familiar with it. So what I want you to do is to do your writing project after the lesson and try to Use again these sentences, these words in sentences, okay? So you can practice with their pronunciation because practice makes perfect. I know you can do it. Very good job. Okay, sorry I extended our lesson, okay, because I have no classes after this. But I hope you enjoyed your time with Teacher Florley. Please study very well and please take care and have a good night. Bye. See you next time.